Angie. Today I want to do a Sutton Slice with Sculpey Primo. Glow in the dark. And Black Primo. And this texture stamp I made myself. Let's see, I still have clay in there. Um, from the Love Letter, or whatever it's called. And I'm going to put some glow in the dark inside here, and just as you would normally do a satin slice. So I'm going to spray with some water lightly. And I'm just going to start by pushing in some clay. And I'm probably going to do just like a little section at a time because I find that it pops out really easily, and I don't want it to. And I'll just slice this off see what I mean how easy it comes out but that's okay because we'll just stick it back in and I'll do it again so I'll just do a bit at a time and I'll slice it like that and we'll continue to do this till we get it to where we want it to be Push it in nice and good. And you need a sharp blade for this. So it'll slice off nice and easy. If not, it, it'll just pull it right out of the, uh, the stamp. So I'll keep going until I get it to where I'm happy with it. And again, if it comes out, that's okay. Because so I'll just put more on top. I'm going to continue doing this, but remember you need to slice it. And some people say, you know, you can slice it like this, holding it and whatever. And it's true, you can. I'm not overly fussy. The results usually end up pretty much the same. But it's to whatever you're comfortable with. So I'm going to do some more. And when I'm done, I'll come back and we'll move on to the next step. All right. Here we are. Let me just clean up this just a tad. Not that I have to, it's very thin. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm going to take my block, just lie this right on top. Just make sure I push it down here. So it'll stick to the uh, glow in the dark. I've got this clay for quite some time, but I haven't really used it. I thought it was about time I did something with it. And it should be good. Good and stuck. Make sure the surface is wet, by the way, before doing this. And gently peel it off. Very gently. piece up here not coming off so great there we go so I like going bigger just in case I destroy it there's usually something I can salvage but anyway it's coming off really quite nice better than I thought it would let's try the other side
Oh, hold on there, it's my oven. Sorry about that. Which I try to keep an eye on it so that when it's just about ready to go off, I'll shut it off. There we go. Out of my block. And here it is. I wrote the letter. And of course, all of the words here will glow in the dark. Now all we need is a cutter. And I was thinking a cute little heart would do. So as you can see, we have all kinds of space to pick. So I'm just gonna pick this spot. It doesn't really matter where. And we'll cut that out. So what I'll do with this piece I'm just going to put this in the oven and bake it. I'm only going to bake it for 30 minutes. Again, this one's going to take me a few bakes because I don't want to distort it in any way. So I'm going to bake this and for 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes, and then we'll do the next step. And I'll probably cut out more pieces as well because there's quite a bit left out of this sheet, as you can see. So I'll be doing more. I'll see you in a bit. All right, heart out of oven. Now I want to put a border on it, <coughs> so I rolled out some black clay, again clean tissue blade, sharp clean tissue blade. So I'm just going to trim this off here to try to make a nice straight line. Of course that's not very thick so this doesn't have to be massively wide. That should be plenty. Yep. Toss that to the side, and I'm just going to put some liquid clay on my finger as soon as it comes out. I do have a full bottle, not any waste, not whatnot. not. It's just that it's thick and it takes a little bit to come out, as I'm sure you know. I just want to put that around the side. And I'll just rub it in. Like so. Wipe my fingers off. <coughs> Excuse me. There. And I'm going to start, I always start on the side that is has a nice long straight length to it. And just gently wrap this around. I'll grab my, if I can get a hold of it, my knitting needle to push this down in here in the center. And continue wrapping. And I'll overlap it some and cut. Peel that off, lift this up, peel that one off, put it flush to each other, and gently make it one. Making it flush, flush on the back too, as much as possible. We're going to be putting it back on this too. That's why I said there's going to be a few bakes with this one. Just because of the way I'm doing it. And I'd rather do a few bakes than try and do this all in one shot. Because I tell you, that's, yeah, I'd end up with so much distortion. It wouldn't be funny. I'm sure some people can, but... I can't, so I'd rather do it. And, and that's the other reason why I'm not baking it for an hour. By the time I'm done, it will have an hour's bake in it. Most parts, or more, actually more. 
be technical. Let's take my little knitting needle. Gently roll. Gently rub till it's all nice and neat all the way around. And then we will bake it again for about 20, 30 minutes. And that'll put the first bake that we did at an hour. So it's definitely going to get its bake. Just don't want that to be too bumpy there. Try and smooth it off some. All right, well, I'm gonna play with this probably just a little bit more. I wanna make sure I don't have any rough spots and that it's all lying nicely before I put it in the oven. And when it's done, we'll do the back. Okay, out of the oven. Now we're gonna put the back on it. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna take my roller here that has the design on it and just roll over there. It's a nice design that it gives it. I love these rollers. They work extremely well. All right, now I need to put some liquid clay on the back of this. I know I have it here. I've been using it for quite a while. I should say quite a few days. I think I live down here in this room. It's my favorite place. That should be plenty. I tend to overdo it. There. I'm also going to put these bills on it. I'll do that now. That way that'll be done. Trim this up some. time I play with liquid clay it makes my clay softer when I'm because I get it on my fingers and I find the clay sticks to me very well so I never know if it's actually off of me or not there I'm gonna smooth up here first before I put that in there Then I'm just gonna probably not even in the screen. I need to open it a little bit. I gotta find my other tool. Here it is. I never have. I'm not never doing just one project, so I usually have a lot of stuff out. I'm sure we're all probably like that. I'm gonna slide that in there. You don't have to put it in now. You can do it afterwards and just glue it on the back which I do sometimes, mainly because I forget to put it on before, but it still looks just as nice. So again, we'll just smooth, up, smooth out the edges. My handy dandy knitting needle, just to get that in there nice and pretty up against the bit, best, the, 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 the bell. smooth it all out and then and this is only thin on the back well I mean it's not paper thin but I'm just going to give it another 30 minute bake that's what I have been giving them 30 minutes not 20 I've been putting them in for 30 this one here will go in for 30 
I'm making sure I've got no air in the back here. I'm gonna get that out. So I could feel a little bit in there. And you wanna make sure your fingerprints are off. It's not like we're gonna be able to sand this. I don't like sanding anyway. Very seldom do I. That's why I try to be as careful as I can with smoothing off, off everything before I put it in the oven. There. So I'll bake that again. 30 minutes. We'll come back and we'll resin the top of it. Oh, excuse me. See you in a bit. Okay, we're back. It's out of the oven. That's what the back looks like. And the front. <clears throat> so I'm going to put some UV resin on it. I don't have a, all my lights on in here, so it's not as bright as it normally would be. Sometimes I find it gives me a headache, but it'll work. So I'm just going to spread this around. Make sure it gets all in all those grooves. No air bubbles. Just gently bring it to the edge. But not so it comes off. So I just kind of tap it around. The only reason why I'm holding it up <clears throat> is because I want you to see what I'm doing better. Only I just have it sitting on my table. There, I think I got it all. I have to set it down so I can see what I'm doing. Make sure I get all around the edges good. I usually use a toothpick or, a, or something that, but I find this one works really well and just as long as I remember to wipe it off after I'm done, it's just like new again. So I don't see any air bubbles. So I think it's in there pretty good. Not that is. Just a part of it. Wait a minute. Some bubbles. I'll just bring my lighter over anyway. <clears throat> Get a little torch. Watch those little bubbles pop. I don't worry if there's the odd one. Again, you know, it's it's made by hand, like it's, it's homemade. And it's shouldn't be perfect. It's like other people say, if you want perfect, go to the store, right? I kind of feel the same way. But anyway, there we go. So I'm going to put that under my UV layup. Oops, I don't know why I'm pushing all these buttons, but anyway, it's going. And when it's nice and hard, I like to leave it in here, well, really about as long as I can, 15 to 30 minutes. But when it's done, I'll be back and show you how it looks and in the dark okay here we are and it's finished came out quite nice I've done some other ones with actually this one's not finished yet but I've done some other ones I still just had to put resin on this and here's some other ones I've done practicing with a different silk screen silk screen stencil <laughs> Okay, here we go. Anyway, so now 
And this is one reason why I only have one light going other than the headache part. I'm gonna shut the light off and see if this works. If you can see how it glows. Looks like I'll have to pick them up. I can see them really clear, but the camera's just not doing it. But for me, I see them just really well. Oh, that's a shame. I was really hoping it would show. Here's what the block of clay looks like. Yeah, it's just not picking it up. Anyway, there's the block of clay. And here's nothing. You can't see it. But it's pretty cool looking. You have to take my word for it. There we go. All right, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I gotta leave that one out so I remember to put some resin on it. But they're really fun to make. I enjoyed it. And until next time, take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next tutorial.